Hi guys, PJ here, back again looking at the new Project Cars game that's just been released. Now, I've covered number one and two in the past, and number three is a little bit different. The aim of this video is to show you all the settings and options, and basically how it performs on an RTX 2060 at 1440p. So you'll see in the left hand corner there, I've got MSI Afterburner running with various little readouts for you guys. This game is actually more arcade based, the original games were very simulation based, this one is very arcadey so it plays completely different. So if you're watching this wondering whether or not to buy the game, well it depends whether you want simulation or arcade because this is firmly in the arcade category as far as I'm concerned. But hey, I'm not here to review the game, there's plenty of people done that, I'm just here to show you basically how it runs on an RTX 2060 and I've got a 1600X Ryzen processor, Ryzen 5, so it's, you know, it's not state-of-the-art or anything, it's uh, just a job. As you can see right now with the default setting that the game's sort of put out, so I've loaded up and it sort of chose its own settings, which I will show you shortly, it's running at, what, 98 frames per second, 100 frames per second, etc. so pretty good. I started there at the start of the race because it was a sort of full track, lots of cars, yes, they've got away from me while I'm talking to you, but... There was no frame rate variation with all those cars on track. It didn't seem to make any difference whatsoever. So what we'll do is go and look at the settings that it's running right now. I mean, it's perfectly smooth. I've got no jutter, nothing, no stuttering, no jutter, nothing. It's absolutely perfect. So let's see what the game has chose for this system. There's the way I'm running it. So I'm on full screen. Textures on high it's chose. Is there an ultra? No, there's no ultra, guys. We've got high, medium, low. That's it. It's all of them. Obviously, we've only got down to trilinear. Oh, we have got trilinear, so there you go. That's another option. V Sync is just on and off. There's no half measures on that. Super sampling off. Uh, reflections medium. Now, I could probably dial a couple of these up a little bit because obviously we're way above 60 FPS, but uh, we have oh, we have ultra reflections, so there is another setting on that one. Environment map medium. Can we go to ultra. Ultra, yeah, car detail is already on. Ultra, medium, low, so we've got low, medium, high, ultra. Track detail is on high, and there's ultra, medium, and low. Like I say, this is the predefined settings, the game chose these settings, so I haven't uh, messed with them. Shadow detail, high, we have an ultra. They're all low, medium, high, ultra, aren't they? Yeah. Mirror quality. Standard or high, that's it. There's no ultra on that one. Okay, motion blur, medium, high, ultra, a little low, yeah, low, medium, high, ultra. Detailed grass, okay, so grass gate. If you remember that, GTA grass gate, yeah, okay, too long ago. Uh, let's go high, medium, low, off. No fuse. For you guys that are completely perplexed by what I just said, when the, the Xbox One, the PS4 first came out, the PS4 had more grass on GTA than the Xbox One, it was called Grassgate, really sad, but there you go. Um, moving swiftly on. Particle quality, we have high, low, medium, high, yep, mm, no, no ultra at all, okay, so increase that to high. Particle density, ultra, high, medium, low, that was our ultra. Rendered frames ahead, I'm on one goes up to four one is the lowest okay so these gpus have six gigabytes of vram okay and as i'm recording this they're actually about to be superseded because the 30 series has just been announced and uh, you know what they're a pretty good price so moving swiftly on what have i done i bumped up the environment map to ultra so we just do this really easy so we just literally take everything up to the max and see how it sort of stands it. It probably won't. Hey, what a go. This is going to be like a 30 FPS when I've finished. But it's worth a try. Let's see. So, oh, the system's good. There we go. Nothing. Nothing interesting. Okay, so let's apply that let's go a custom event again and start 
So what's your bettings guys? I reckon that's going to go below 60 FPS there. We fully maxed everything out apart from the frames rendered ahead. Um, I think on a 2060 we're going to be looking at mixing things like maybe shadows, mirror quality. We're going to have to drop those down a peg or two. We'll see. This is not a 2060S, this is just a 2060. 2060? 60? 60? 60, 60, 60, 60, 2060 and it's the MSI one so it's got a factory overclock. Nothing, nothing major. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Now we're going to have a full track in front of us again. 71. Is it going to buckle? Is it going to dip? Or can we actually run this totally maxed? Not looking good up to now. I'm not looking at the racing, I'm looking at the numbers. So GPU usage 95%. CPU, 44%, it says nearly spinning off the track, but as you can see, yeah we're holding decent FPS, lots hitting a wall, 69, did that buckle to 69, I think it did, still the lowest it's had up to now, I'm trying to keep all the cars in front, so you can see any you know pressure on the GPU, now if we had rain, weather effects I know on the older project cars that absolutely crippled everything so let's, let's do that again let's try and tax it because this isn't doing it this is not knocking it down any okay let's uh, quit and yeah now we'll set the race up the bad weather and uh, see if we can see if we can drop it down a bit so weather season winter um, hmm, clear yeah we don't want clear we want absolute yeah that's what we want thunderstorm that's that's gonna do it um hmm, anything else yeah. so we've got 15 opponents with the CPU running as low as it low as it is, I don't think adding extra, you know, cars on track is going to really make that much difference. I think it'd accommodate that quite well. So this seems to run very well. The old project cars was a nightmare. I remember running project cars one on a FX8350 CPU and a 290X Radeon GPU. And yeah, it was it was a tricky one. Let's go. Race. 55 FPS guys, look at that, that's done it. We would have to dial back. Forty-eight. Oh yeah, the rain's killed it. The rain's done it. Forty-nine. Forty-five. Forty-two. Forty. Thirty-nine. Yeah, we're gonna have to tweak some of this back to sort of medium. I'm guessing. It actually feels smooth still. I'm on a controller, I'm on an Xbox One controller, and it, it does actually still feel smooth. To say that the, the FPS is varying quite a lot, it still feels good. We get the gist, don't we? We, we can see what's happening there. Okay, so how well does it scale? Let's have a look. This is only using 3.5 gigabytes of VRAM. Uh, no, sorry, normal memory. Let me get that right. Sorry, three and a half gigabytes of VRAM and nine and a half gigabytes of normal memory. So nine and a half gigabytes of normal memory. It's not going to run on your eight gig system. Let's quit. Stick this on low and see how much VRAM it uses. So, for example, you guys with the GTX 970, three and a half gigabytes of VRAM, usable VRAM that is. Um, let's see. to performance so reflections we'll put them on medium environment map you know what let's see how low we can go let's see what the base system is this would run on yeah? you off. 
give us a true read out that way. That's what I was thinking. This is going to look rough. Shadow detail off. Wow. Is there an off? No, just a low. Possible density. Low. Now, I would imagine if you were in a, a base system, you could run this at what, 1080p? Um, we go against 1080p if we can. 60 hertz. Okay, so that's light. Please restart the game. God, quit. And yeah, now we'll set the race up. The bad weather. And uh, see, if we can, see if we can drop it down a bit. So, weather. Season. Winter. Um, hmm, clear. Nah, we don't want clear. We want absolute yeah that's what we want thunderstorm that's that's gonna do it um hmm, anything else yeah. so we've got 15 opponents with the cpu running as low as it is low as it is i don't think adding extra you know cars on track is going to really make that much difference i think it'd accommodate that quite well so this seems to run very well. The old Project Cars was a nightmare. I remember running Project Cars 1 on a FX8350 CPU and a 290X Radeon GPU. Oh uh, yeah, it was, it was a tricky one. Let's go. Race. 55 FPS, guys. Look at that. That's done it. We would have to dial back. Forty-eight. Oh yeah, the rain's killed it. The rain's done it. Forty-nine. Forty-five. Forty-two. Forty. Thirty-nine. Great yeah, so we're gonna have to tweak some of this back to sort of medium. I'm guessing. It actually feels smooth still. I'm on a controller. I'm on an Xbox One controller. And it does actually still feel smooth. The same, the, the, the FPS is varying quite a lot. It still feels good. We get the gist, don't we? We, we can see what's happening there. Okay, so how well does it scale? Let's have a look. This is only using 3.5 gigabytes of VRAM. Uh, no, sorry, normal memory. Let me get that right. Sorry, 3.5 gigabytes of VRAM and 9.5 gigabytes of normal memory. So nine and a half gigabytes of normal memory. It's not going to run on your eight gig system. Let's quit. Stick this on low and see how much VRAM it uses. So for example, you guys with the GTX 970, three and a half gigabytes of VRAM, usable VRAM that is. Um, let's see. to performance so reflections we'll put them on medium environment map you know what? let's see how low we can go let's see what the base system is this would run on you yeah? think off give us a true readout that way that's what I was thinking this is going to look rough Shadow detail off. Wow. Is there an off? No, just a low. Possible density. Low. Now, I would imagine if you were in a, a base system, you could run this at what, 1080p? Um, we go against 1080p if we can. 60 hertz. Okay, so that's light. Please restart the game. God. So we're back with 
low settings, the lowest the game can possibly go. And as you can see, we're on 140 frames per second. So VRAM is what I was doing this for, to see how much VRAM it's using. And yeah, it's using under two gigabytes of VRAM. So that should scale pretty well, actually. Some of the older video cards here could comfortably play the game. You know, if you're getting this sort of FPS on this card, you should be able to, you know, at least run this at 30 on some of the really old cards, you know, like a GTX 780, that type of card. We're in okay. So guys, that really wraps this up for me. All I wanted to do was show you all the settings and options that are available in the game. Now, obviously there's a lot more, um, but they're nothing to do with graphics. I will quickly go over them so you can quickly see them in case you need to see any of their options. So gameplay options are all here. So just before we end the video, I'm just going to show you everything. You might have to pause to have a quick look. There you go, there's all the options for that. Yes, I've got it on really easy setting because obviously I'm recorded and I'm not with the game. No, moving on. So input device, you've got wheels, keyboard, mouse, gamepad, etc. etc. Um, make custom custom. I see a PS4 controller there. Maybe if we had one plugged in, it would recognise it. Xbox One. Yeah, that's all there is. Vibration strength, etc., etc. Your buttons. I mean, they're sort of self-explanatory, really, aren't they? Let's go back up. Photo mode, etc. Nice photo mode in this game. Really good. Really easy to use. There's your wheel calibration, pedal types, just separate, but I haven't got any plugged in, so maybe there'd be more options if there was. Automatic clutch, there you go. Let's go down these. What else have we got? There's your hood. You turn all that off for realism. There's your visuals. There's your audio. So, dynamic range, what options have we got here? Okay, VR panning type, because obviously it's a supported VR game. And that's it, that's every single one. That's it guys, that's a wrap. Hopefully it helps somebody out there who wants to know what settings and options it is. Maybe you know you want to know how well it runs on a similar spec computer. Now you know. Thanks for watching, catch you again on the next one.